With regards to risk assessment, we have the risk questionnaires, as I mentioned, which we provide from time to time. And we'll be providing this through the system, which will then be filled by institutions and submitted to us online. We use this a lot of times for purposes of uh, developing a risk profile. Uh, we do this um, twice a year, where we uh, analyze and review each institution, especially our licensed institutions, and actually develop a profile for those institutions. The profile helps us a lot in focusing our inspections and determining the kind of, of oversight that we'll have over that institution. Now, with regards to complaints, we also have um, a mechanism for submission of complaints to the authority. And we also have an internal arrangement for purposes of managing those complaints. We can also, uh, we also have a mechanism for receiving uh, early warning signs, whistleblowing, and even rumors. We particularly like rumors, especially for purposes of our market surveillance. Now, in terms of the way forward, before or culminating into this launch today, we've had um, interaction with the market, entirely ranging from uh, all our licensed institutions to our listed companies, and we have sensitized them on the use of the system. Our authority is frightfully conscious that we are regulating an industry. We are providing a conducive environment for the operation of an industry. And therefore, it's so critical that we have your support and have your buy-in in the strategic direction we're taking with regard to the Capital Markets Authority. Now, I, I, I think to benefit, given we've had quite a few discussions and gone into the detail, I'd like to pretty much rush through the detail of the strategic plan just to give you an oversight of what is the outlook and the direction the Capital Markets Authority is taking to look um, with regard to moving the market forward over the next five-year period and then uh, we'll move on to the next key items and most importantly the official launch. I think we're very glad to note that uh, this plan is actually, uh, it's already in operation. And so for the authority, we're very glad to note that we're already seeing the fruits um, of the new direction we're taking. And we look forward to working much closer with the industry as we go through towards looking at the key role the capital markets are going to play in really moving. Uh, this nation forward. Now, I think as has been well mentioned by my colleagues, this is in fact the fourth strategic plan that has been rolled out by the authority, and it sets out uh, a five-year strategic policy direction running to the end of June of 2018. Now, this is really looking at building on some of the um, achievements from our last plan ending uh, in June of 2012. I mean, June of 2013, and now looking at how do we need to reformulate and re-strategize ourselves to make sure we mac maximize on the opportunity that is provided to our industry as a whole. I think very critically, we need to recognize that we are working within the context of a national strategic outlook and national strategic plan, which is the Vision 2030. And more specifically, the five-year medium-term plans with the medium-term plan two awaiting um, adoption by His Excellency the President in the coming days. So I think as the authority we feel particularly um, privileged that our own strategic planning cycle is very well aligned to the national uh, strategic planning cycle to make sure that we are really making sure we're going to uh, put in place the necessary steps to ensure that the, the nation as a whole will be able to meet its ultimate objectives of the Vision 2030. Now, I think ultimately, uh, with any planning process, your customers or your clients are a very critical component of any strategic planning. And we're, we're glad to know that we received excellent support from the industry, from our, all, all our stakeholders, both local and international, with regard to key directions we need to be taking over the next five-year period. Now, I think it goes without saying that I think it's preaching to the converted when you try to tell this room uh, the role of the capital markets in achieving the vision. But I think we always need to come back, um, especially as the authority, to remember that as a regulator, we are also a market developer. And that market is in existence for a particular purpose. It's a much larger, it, we are not regulating as an end in itself. We are trying to create a conducive environment 
that will support the mobilization of savings, uh, that will increase financial access, that will critically provide infrastructure financing um, to our nation in this very, uh, a, a very, uh, it's a critical turning point in our country, especially with respect to um, the outlook we have on roads, in the mining and extraction industries, oil. Um, really, there is a great need and a great hunger for capital in our market right now. And it's really a question that is there for the authority as to how we're going to respond to that effectively. And ultimately, we need to play our part in, cre in ensuring the creation of an international financial center in Kenya. I think there's been long discussions about the critical role of Kenya as a regional hub, be it in transport, be it in finance. But there are certain key steps we need to take for us to go from merely the rhetoric of discussing being an international financial center, being a hub, to making sure we put in place the right kind of uh, environment for that, to, for us to be truly a competitive destination for capital across the world. Ultimately, we're competing. Um, I, I'm sure our industry are very co conscious of the fact that the flows of capital into our nation are a function of how attractive our, our jurisdiction can be with respect to returns, with respect to transparency, with respect to governance. And therefore, we must ensure that we continue to push the envelope and drive that forward to make sure we're benchmarking with best standards. Now, in connection with that, you will see that uh, with our new strategic plan, we have adopted an adjusted vision and mission for the authority. Our vision is to be a proactive regulator of a competitive and robust capital market. And thank you, the rest of my management staff. When I'm to a cracker, Financial Secretary, starting in for the Cabinet Secretary, National Treasury, Chairman, Chief Executives and Staff of Financial Sector Regulators, Representatives of the Capital Markets Regulators from the East African Community, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Having listened to the management team contribution on our strategy, I do not intend to go back and give some details of the same, but I would like to touch on a few things, ladies and gentlemen, because to us, this is really a great day. A great day because as we host you this morning at the launch of the authorities 2013-2017 strategic plan and list-based supervision system, a time that we are also, as Lowe said, trying to come to terms with our own September 21st events. It is really gratifying to note that all of you could spare time, a few minutes, to join us in this very important occasion. As was mentioned by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, in his address to the nation the other day, I would also wish to reiterate that the heinous crime committed by those people will not in any way deter Kenyans from moving forward with the national reform agenda, particularly on packaging Kenya as the investment destination of choice. The launch of CMA strategic plan comes at a time when the second medium term plan for Vision 2030 economic blueprint is due for unveiling in the coming few days. The authority has been working closely with the stakeholders, as Paul has mentioned, in developing the financial sector component of the MTP2 over the past one year, 
and would wish to assure all stakeholders that the strategic plan is well aligned to this document. Acting Chief Executive, you are aware today is on a Thursday and our cabinet meets on Thursdays. So he couldn't make it. He wanted to, but he couldn't. So he sent his apologies, but he is sufficiently represented by myself and the chairman. <laughs> So I will read this statement. It is my pleasure to join you this morning to preside over this occasion of launching the Capital Markets Authority's Strategic Plan 2013-2017 and the Capital Markets uh, market, uh, Risk-Based Supervision System. Both initiatives are extremely important in that the strategic plan provides the strategic direction over the next five years, while the risk-based supervision system transforms the authority's supervisory approach from the traditional compliance-based model to a more robust and innovative risk-based model. Ladies and gentlemen, macroeconomic stability is a key prerequisite to capital markets development and in this regard I am gratified to note that GDP growth picked up from 5.2 percent in the first quarter of this year compared to 4.6 percent in 2012 and is expected to rise to 5.6 percent for the full year 2013 and and over 7% in the medium term. Both inflation and the exchange rate have also remained relatively stable the last one year. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. 